Oh, shit. It's in. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? As you guys can see, we stopped by my buddy's house today. And if you cannot tell by the start of the video behind me, the red car actually has a motor in it. Now, I don't know if you guys are going to see it finished or not. Um, the car actually got listed for a part out because he's going to do something else. What's new? But it may be finished. As you guys can see, there's actually an empty spot in the driveway right here because the blue one actually got tuned and he's out driving it around. So yeah, let's uh, show you guys a little bit of what's in the car. And yeah, hold on. So as you guys can see, ported RBC, cut and ported. K2 throttle body, passport mounts. Pretty much everything, I lied, it's not a K2 throttle body, it's hybrid racing and hybrid racing hoses and hybrid racing harness and hybrid racing cables and uh, yeah, I think the list just keeps going on and on and on when it comes to hybrid racing. Shout out to hybrid racing on this one and the blue one that's usually here is actually all K-tuned and I'll show you guys the difference in a few of the parts when I have them next to each other. But I'm gonna wait for Jay to come out here maybe he'll give us a little rundown on the car. I gotta get the other radiator, K-foot radiator. Yeah, because the neck's in a different location. Mm -hmm. Makes a world of a difference. These fucking stock ones are fucking it's too small, they look like shit. Yep, it'll choke it too. So. Casing came out nice though, I will say that. Yeah, I'll be rough too. Well, I'm glad it's in the car now that it won't be parted out. <laughs> Alright guys, so you can... This, uh, you can go ahead and forget what I said at the beginning of the video about the car being parted out and you might not see it finish because it's actually going to finish it. So, yes. Thank you, Lord. And we're going to do a little competition between this one and the blue one. It'll be hybrid racing versus k <laughs> We'll see, exactly. We'll see what, and then it's Hasport motor mounts versus innovative motor mounts. So we're going to see which ones hold up better with that too. I might actually just... Hmm, let's see. Start the all-motor build or <laughs> go straight to boost. But it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Couple miscellaneous turbo. So, may as well just put it on boost. And a couple miscellaneous program. Ooh. That's three inch. Yeah. You know, I like the quality of this fucking shit. This is all from 1320? Yeah, I mean, you obviously know how it fits, but you can't tighten it until you know what the exact angle is supposed to be. No, I, I'm just going to snug it up, believe it. Is this all from 1320? Or only the manifolds from 1320? So, the price difference between the PLM and the, the this is 1320 the PLM? is like $100 in price. Okay. But it's the same exact product. So without, this is the PLM? This is the PLM with the 1320. Intake, uh, turbo manifold, but gotcha. the same exact thing, they just put a 1320 stand. Yeah, I like, know, I, I figured so. Alright, you guys can't really see it because I don't have proper lighting, so I'm going to have to come back, but as y'all can see, it is out, it's on the road, cold air. Yeah, you have a flashlight with you by any chance? Yeah, here. Awesome, because I don't have any light, thank you. Nick's actually going to, oh, so much better. Ha ha! <laughs> Yo, you got to when it's when it's nighttime. You gotta do what you gotta do, bro. What radiator? 
radiators that is clean. What radiator is that? So yeah, like I was saying earlier, this is like a full K2 in build. And the other one is pretty much all hybrid racing. Don't mind the radiator cap. Other than that, it's all K tuned. Literally. K tune, K tune, K tune, and innovative K tune shift linkages. And yeah. So we're gonna basically see what parts make more power and what parts hold up better. That's that, and got a nice little set of uh, RPF ones. Man, I can't believe I forgot the name of them. This one's got slips. It's like typical old school right here. There's many things I can do with it, I guess. Hybrid, hybrid, hybrid. And then, no, that's a raw wire harness, right? Raw wire harness? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have a K2 harness mm -hmm. in the blue one. Okay. Whatever. Just want to make sure. Get it all right. So yeah, brothers competing against each other. The one in the gray shirt is in a rush to get this one on the road before he gets tuned all the way. This shit is epic, it's too funny. This is awesome. <laughs> Almost drove straight past it. Um, sorry. So yeah, K-Tune and Hybrid Racing. And they're both really good companies. They're both really well-known companies. So... I guess let's see. We got two brothers both in two cars, and we're gonna see what company makes more reliable parts. As always, if you guys have not already, please make sure and like and subscribe. Drop a comment. The comments, believe it or not, the comments help a lot, and the likes hit a lot, like a lot, help a lot. Damn, I'm stuttering over everything tonight. But yeah, make sure and drop a like, comment, subscribe. And make sure to share this video. If you guys have any questions about either one of the cars or anything that goes on in the channel, go ahead and send a message and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. Thank you and have a nice day. BJ Hoka! Hey, a ti. A ti mismo. Si, a ti, a ti, a ti, a ti, si. Este es el que va a jugar a los juegos de historia. Oye, es un He drops it like it's nothing. He drops himself. Oh, for real? He's like, ah. <laughs> hey, the boy got G'd up at G Exhaust. I got the shirts for free. Let me know. Oh, okay. Try to start a bonfire with it? Behind you. They feel nice, though. Behind you. What? Hold on. Why would I do that? <laughs> She don't like snakes.